This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. And today, I'm in North Chesterfield. Today, we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, three full, and two half bath home situated here on about three quarters of an acre. And we just have an amazing location here. You can see that we've got some nice established homes here, uh, large lots, uh, very stately looking location. And uh, there's just so much about this home to love. We have a finished basement, a two car garage, and much, much more. And uh, I'm just so excited to bring this one to you today. This home is listed by Angela Friend. She is an agent in my office and uh, she was kind enough to allow us to come take a look. Uh, I am just so excited to bring you something that is a little different. Uh, I cover, of course, new construction. And uh, in many respects, uh, some of these older homes just have so many advantages over newer construction. I'll point some of those little details out to you here as we walk through this tour. One of the things that we are frustrated with in today's market is there's just not enough inventory. And uh, I have a success rate here of making offers here lately that is not exactly where I want it to be. But you can help uh, if you know someone or if you have a home that you've been thinking about selling, this is the perfect time to do so. Uh, we are structuring transactions now where the purchaser is paying the closing costs for the seller. And you heard that right. The purchaser are paying closing costs for the seller with the exception of commission. And we are also regularly seeing homes sold as is. So as the seller, even if your home needs some work, even if you have drippy shower heads, we're having the purchasers to go ahead and take them as is. And so it just makes life so much easier for the sellers. And of course, the purchasers have a chance to get a home that they so desperately have been seeking. As you can see here, we've got our two car rear entry garage. A lot of people love the rear entry garage because you don't have that big garage door on the front. And uh, see here in the rear, we've got a nice patio area that extends uh, quite a ways there across uh, the back of the home notice we have a hundred percent brick on all four sides and i hope you're loving what you see so far nice and quiet location yet we are near all the conveniences that northern chesterfield has to offer i just love these large pine trees that are nestled all throughout here this beautiful location there is something that I saw. This is the first time I've seen this in over 900 homes that I have videoed and wanted to point it out to you. This little door that you see directly in the middle of the frame, I want you to pay attention to that. I'm not going to explain what it is, but you'll see here momentarily. We do have an entrance there. I'll point that out once we go in as well. Some work has recently been done to this home. The owners have done an amazing job of maintaining it and that pride really shows. The stager also did an amazing job in bringing this home to life. Uh, staging can make a huge difference and they did a fabulous job. Look at the door. This door, this door makes a statement right here. This looks like you're getting ready to enter a castle here. I just love that detail and it just from the onset makes a nice, nice statement. Okay, directly ahead is going to be our den area. Uh, we've got plenty of detail there. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more as we walk through. Directly ahead is going to be our informal dining area and kitchen. Of course, our stairs going up. And here to the left is going to be our formal living room. Before we go any further, I'm going to go ahead and follow instructions. The instructions clearly tell me to take off my shoes and get my booty on. And, oh, jeez. I wish they would just re you just use different terminology and then say, please put on shoe coverings. I've already done so, so I am compliant. English is so difficult, especially when I'm trying to do a video and we just have all kinds of weird terms that come up. Okay, here we are in our formal living room. These floors look absolutely amazing. I believe they were refurnished. Do they have the cardboard down to protect them? Just beautiful neutral paint. We've got chair, excuse me, crown molding in this space. We're going to go directly across to our den. Notice the coffered ceilings, our brick fireplace. 
uh, here is something I wanted to point out. This is a wood burning fireplace. And this door here opens to the door that we saw outside. So the thought process is you put your wood in there and it's conveniently stored. You don't have to bring it in the house through the front door. And then when you're ready, of course, you put it there on the fireplace. So great design, very, very smart design. Uh, this room, of course, has the chair rail. I've got wainscoting in place and privacy. You can close, of course, those double doors or the door to the left. One of the things that we have in older homes is that separation of space that we don't see today in new homes. However, this home doesn't disappoint because we've got a nice open informal dining area. Excuse me, that's a more formal dining area. This is gonna be our informal space and of course our stunning kitchen here to the right. Let's start back over here to the, I'm gonna start at the kitchen and uh, some things I wanted to point out here. We've got custom cabinetry. Look here in our cabinet. You can see, of course, we've got lighting in there. We've got under cabinet lighting as well. Uh, one of the interesting things, this is the second video in a row, I believe, where I've seen a book by Joanna Gaines placed by the stager. So just kind of a neat little thing I noticed. We do have a wall oven and just look at that detail here with these cabinets. I just love what they've done. Beautiful granite, of course, the double bowl sink. Our windows not only open, you can crank them. Uh, there are screens on them so you can get a nice little breeze. Some additional recessed lights up in that molding. Of course, this home does have the stainless dishwasher and all other stainless appliances. Uh, this is going to be our pantry space here, directly in the middle of the frame. Of course, our double door uh, refrigerator with water and ice in the door. I love the backsplash that they put in, that copper look. It just works beautifully with these cabinets. Uh, once again, we've got more lights in the cabinets glass front there. Just an absolutely stunning job here in this tiled floor kitchen. All right, we're gonna start here to this end of the home and our door that I mentioned outside, this is it right here. So you can use this as a secondary entrance if desired. Our laundry hookups, are right there. This home is wired for an alarm system. And this is going to be a first floor bedroom. They have it staged as an office. However, we do have closets here. So it does qualify as a legitimate bedroom. We've got nice natural light that flows into this space and really good size. You could get a large bed in here with no problem. All right, we're gonna transition here to my right. We have our powder room conveniently located. It is right by the door to the garage, a coat closet right there. And this is one of the cleanest garages I've ever been in. I believe the floor has been freshly painted. We have a door there leading out to uh, that back patio that we saw a uh, moment uh, earlier. Our, of course, our two car door, double water heater, and our Electrolux Central Vac. That's something we don't see very often. Back in 73, when this home was built, uh, that was a nice upgrade. So you can hook up your hose to any of the outlets in the home and don't have to drag around a bulky vacuum cleaner. Okay, this is going to be finished storage space. Uh, this could also double if someone wanted to make it a cave they could do so if you wanted to make a craft room, a playroom, a timeout room. This would be a nice big timeout room if you have uh, unruly uh, smaller occupants of the home. Uh, there's just so much that you could do here. Uh, of course, you can never have too much storage space. Imagine how clean you could keep the garage if all the stuff that normally goes in the garage would go there. This is just simply a little bit of unfinished space. Let's go on back down and see what we have on the other end of the first floor. One thing to keep in mind is if you are thinking about selling, I still have my 2000 or free guarantee, which means if we don't get 2000 video views of your home in the first week, then I work for free. In today's environment with COVID 
it's important to be as safe as possible. And some of these homes are getting dozens and dozens of showings and you don't want all those extra hands touching your doorknobs and countertops and video just makes it much, much safer. Okay, here to the right is going to be our three quarter bath. They did a fabulous job with this. Look at that tile work here in this beautiful bath. They even did glass block. So you still have privacy, but you have daylight that comes in through this shower. Just very smart design. I'm gonna step in here and give you a shot here of this gorgeous vanity top. I love it because they didn't forget anything as far as uh, the details on this beautiful home. They just did so much uh, to get it where it is. Okay, this is gonna be bedroom number two. Uh, I actually said earlier, four bedrooms. I'm thinking this is more like five because this is gonna be a fifth legitimate bedroom. So we've got two down and then three up. Uh, let's go down and take a look at this gorgeous finished basement. I know my northerners are saying, oh my gosh, you can get all of this for under 550,000. This is a truly amazing deal. Fireplace number three. Okay, when was the last time you saw a home with a finished basement with a fireplace in it? Just imagine what you could do with all of this open space. It could be game room, this could be a serious cave down here. It gets better because we also have a powder room down here. So there's nothing worse than having to go up and down stairs uh, unnecessarily. I love what they did here. I'm not sure what this material is, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It has a texture to it, kind of like a basket weave, but it is a tile material. And I just think it works so very well here in this basement. All right, let's go on upstairs. Uh, it has been a long time since I've gotten this excited uh, about an older home, um, but there's just so much to love here in this one. All right, as we go upstairs, we're going to hang a right and then go down our hallway. Here is a coat closet. Once again, we're convenient to the front door. Look at the detail here on these spindles. Just very beautifully done. More detail as we go up. You've got the gorgeous walnut flavored stairs here to the left is going to be our master. We're actually going to finish up there. Uh, we have a hall bath there uh, and that's going to be bedroom number four. Let's see, we had two down. So this is going to be bedroom number three. All of these are really good size adult bedrooms. We've got a double closet there. I'm not going to open those doors, but we know we've got a good size closet. Little linen area right there. Here to the right is going to be bedroom number four. I did not open that door early. I'm not sure what is on the other side of this door here. I imagine it is probably unfinished space. Yes, it is. It is unfinished space and Wow, look at that. It is a bunch of unfinished base. Plenty of storage there. Okay, we are going to now transition to our hall bath. And look at this. Oh my goodness, I just love what they did here. That vanity paired with that vanity top is just amazing. This is a really neat use of space here under the window. We've got a cabinet. That's in addition, of course, to the storage that we have in the vanity. And then here to the left is going to be the throne and a jetted tub here, a jetted jacuzzi. We've got four jets there in the back. This obviously is new because it's got the sticker still on it and it jets all the way through. Uh, we've got the marble look here on the wall, the oversized shower head, that's going to be Delta shower technology, and that tile goes all the way to the ceiling. Just an amazing job here. They really went over and above when it comes to the renovations that are in this stunning home. 
All right, now we're going to take you into the primary. All right, and here she is, ladies and gentlemen. They did an amazing job here with this one. We have a, I believe that's going to be a king size bed that is in place. Uh, it might be a queen, but it's still very large bed here. Uh, we've got plenty of space on either side, as you can see. So you could get a king in here or even a California king with absolutely no problem. Uh, this master or primary does have recessed lights. We've got plenty of natural light that flows in. Gorgeous walk-in. Notice these wood floors are here throughout this entire second level. So I don't think there was any carpet in this home. That's something you don't see typically in new construction. You would spend a lot of money on upgrades in new construction if you tried to go in and do all real wood. Okay, we're now in our primary bath and look at this. I love the colors. So clean and fresh here in this primary bath. Uh, our shower area. Love the texture here that they used on this gray tile. We've got the cubby there. Our Delta technology once again. This is going to be detachable. All right, so you detach this one. You've got jets here. You've got jets there for the maximum amount of cleanliness. All right. Whoops. Oops, let me put that back up. I don't want to, have to pay for a shower head when I haven't sold the house yet. All right, you guys know that I pay for a shower head if the, if the shower head needs to be replaced, but I won't need to replace any here in this one. We've got a little seat there. I love the frameless look here on this shower. Uh, just an amazing job here on this gorgeous home. Okay, whoo, I'm about to break a sweat. If you have any questions about this one or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It would be an honor for me to help. I can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.